Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'll start off speaking about the summit and we'll transition to the Lower East Rift after. The situation at the summit uh, over the past day has been similar to how it's been over the past couple of weeks. We had a, a swarm of earthquakes overnight that, that led to um, a, a large collapse explosion event which occurred at 6.12 a.m. this morning. This one had a moment magnitude of 5.3, which is typical to what the events have been having in, in uh, recent days. The, uh, there were felt reports from this event, although it wasn't felt that widely, which is also consistent with past events. Um, looking at the crater more broadly, the, the slumping um, and faulting into Halima'uba'u continues, and we are monitoring that uh, daily as conditions allow. And um, I think that's, that's the main take home from the summit. The earthquakes continue, volcano residents are feeling them, and uh, we're monitoring closely. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to give you the update. So the activity right now is focused on the Fissure 8. The uh, lava is fountaining, uh, reaching heights of anywhere from 150 to 180 feet, as measured during the overnight hours by HVO field crews who were out in the area. Uh, Fissure 16 and 18, they are oozing lava. And then there was some incandescence or glowing orange observed from Fissure 6. Uh, primarily in the overnight hours with some mild spattering that was observed during this morning's overflight. But essentially the flow field is remaining stable. A new fissures and flow map was just posted to the HVO webpage and lava now is covering 9.4 square miles. Uh, and also at the ocean entry, uh, lava continues to enter the ocean on the southern part of a very broad flow front near the vicinity of vacation land. And the lava has built a delta that is about 360 acres in size right now. So that is, a, that is essentially uh, the update from the Lower East Rift Zone. Hi, I was just wondering if you can further explain what the slumping is and how long it could last. Hi, this is Brian Shiro from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. So the, the, the magma chamber underneath Halima'uma'u has uh, been undergoing changes since, since this um, um, event all began uh, in late April, early May, and um, we think that the shallowmost portion of that chamber, um, you know, may may have uh, evacuated partially, and this is leading to some of the conditions that that result in the slumping. Um, so it's gravitational instability that just um, which is exacerbated by the earthquakes, um, and it causes uh, sides of Halima'uma'u to, to break and, and fall inward. Some of this happens during the, the events, and, and some of them actually, some of this happens more slowly as slumps on a continuous basis. And we have um, new GPS stations deployed in the area that are monitoring both the discrete events as well as the continuous motion. And, and we have drone flights happening every few days to, to capture what it looks like as well. Hi, everyone. I'm wondering if you can uh, tell me how far from the original shoreline at Kapoho Bay the new delta has, has extended seaward and about how deep the water is um, along that new shoreline. Uh, and, and the reason I'm, I'm asking the question, which you may be able to address, is, um, you know, is there any threat of, um, of delta collapse in that area? We're looking up those numbers for you, um, Liz. As meanwhile, this is Brian, I can say that the, the coastal um, offshore area there is very shallow, um, unlike off the south flank of Kilauea where it's deep. And therefore we think that the, the delta that's being built is going to be more stable than the deltas that have been built off the south flank um, of Kilauea from the Puo'o flows in the past. Um, so that's a reflection of the, the fact that the, the slope is very shallow. It's also uh, you know, very shallow offshore. Um, and that's, that's a general um, uh, take on what's what the delta is doing. Did you find the numbers? Yes, um, uh, this is Liz Westby with the USGS. There's actually a very nice interactive map that's put out by the Hawaii County Civil Defense, and that allows you to take measurements. And so this is a measurement that I just took from the map, and it looks like if you uh, just do the, the, if you start at the ocean entry at Kapoho, and then just go out to the furthest point seaward, uh, it's 0.65 miles. But as I mentioned earlier, most of the active ocean entry is in the southern point uh, toward vacation land and point south. So this was just the measurement from Kapoho Bay toward the east. 